Poor Muggs. Poor Kawhi. Kawhi? Kawhi Leonard? Yeah. What happened to Kawhi? Poor Clipper fans. Poor Clipper fans. He did hurt, did he get injured? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Really? Yep. So uh, when this uh, episode airs, uh, Clippers may be out. They may be... Uh, or they may be uh, going on to the next next uh, round. So uh, it'll either be jubilation or sadness when this uh, episode airs, man. <laughs> Have some faith in your team, brother. They've been doing oh, no, great. I, I am. I am. I am. Yeah. Um, dude, I love my team, and yeah. I'm stoked, and I can't wait to see the next guy step up. But what I'm saying, though, is the time this episode airs... Yeah. I'm either going to be ecstatic for my team <laughs> or I'm going to be sad for my team. So because the, the three games will will happen by time, you know. So this is a series this be- gets on the air. This is the series before the Western Conference Finals and it's all tied up 2-2. Which the Clippers have never been to. Yeah. Oh no way. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, the Clippers have never been to a Western Conference Final. And then uh so they need to uh win two more games at this point to win the series, correct? Correct. And correct, Sportsmar. Are you the kind of guy who gets like, bum, do you get bummed out? So if they are out, I mean, you know, the playoffs are super exciting and you want your team to go all the way and get their first uh, mm-hmm. uh, f- f- championship. Uh, but yes, if they lose tonight, Wednesday night, are you going to be bummed out for a certain amount of time? Or are you kind of fan? You're like, you know what? We get them next year. They did really well. And you kind of move on. Or does it affect your entire life? Like, I know some sports people do. They get all bummed out. It doesn't affect my entire life, but there was two times, actually three times in my life where sports affected my mood. Oh, really? What happened? And and, and it, it affected me for a couple of days. And, and it doesn't affect my life, right? Because I realize it's a game. It's it's not the end of the world. If, it, if my team blows it, they blow it. So right. the first time I was at the game where the Clippers uh, were... I would say 12 minutes away from going to their first Western Conference Finals against the Houston Rockets. You know, uh, they were playing the Houston Rockets. They were up 20 in the third quarter, and they ended up losing, dude. They lost game six, Damn. and then they lost game seven. But I was at that game six where where Rockets came back from 20. It was 16 Ugh, or 20 or something. Right. And that one hurt me because we were ready to explode. Like, like being there, it was so great. Yeah. That was the... The first time that like sports ever affected my mood. The second time was uh, when the Clippers blew last year, the three one lead. And I know like it, it doesn't it didn't hurt me as much as the the Rockets one because I knew there was a lot going on and they just weren't all there. So right. but it still hurt the fact that we were one game away and all you had to do was win one game and they lost the next three. So Ugh. that one bummed me out. And then of course the twenty eight three Atlanta Falcons, uh, New England Patriots. Yeah. Not because they lost. Because they lost to the stupid Patriots and allowed Tom Brady to come back. <laughs> and then now it's all I see every time I hear 28 But that was an so, amazing comeback. Like, how and, much and were that, they up? Uh, it was 28-3 in the, oh, in the third quarter. Yeah, you just said that. Duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, the third yeah. quarter. Which oh. and, and then, oh, shoot, and then like that, ju- that Edelman catch where it almost hit the floor and he picked it up by, by oh. inches. It hits the floor. The game's over. You know, yeah. and it's just so much. So that was, and that was a championship game. That's oh, like, dude, that yeah, was, yeah, for so, sure. Uh, that yeah. sucks, so dude. Well, time. I wish you luck, man, tonight for sure, dude. I, I, yeah, I gotta be honest with you, man. I have, uh, you know, I did watch some of the Lakers, but I, I've been enjoying mm-hmm. watching the crap out of the Clippers, and I find myself, cool. uh, especially on when I was driving home from Laughlin, I wasn't able to see the game because it was a Sunday, and I was, I was, uh, you know, driving home, and, but I, I would hop on my phone and get updates and I was happy seeing them when they win <laughs> and uh, I, I remember um, on that Sunday game when I checked in halftime or maybe it was after the first quarter they were down like 10 15, maybe 15 points and they came back and they won, they won the game so it was it was yeah, uh, it, it was awesome man so yeah, I have been enjoying uh, keeping up with the Clippers this this playoff said this run has been exciting yeah. like like you going down 0-2 and then they come back and now they're 0-2 again and now they tied it up yeah. uh, so who knows when this is airing uh, we might have different tunes or we might be so excited like yeah. I might be so excited I, you know, know, like, yeah, so, for sure. so, so either way, just leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I get that. Hey, um, you know, yeah. I, I'm also excited because you know uh, my wedding business is getting back on track and everything is opening up. And hell uh, yeah, the pandemic's over, so <laughs> now you can party, <laughs> party like a rock star. I DJed a wedding on right? Saturday. Uh, people were partying like rock stars. Um, hey, could you do me a favor and pull up my Instagram? I posted a hard post on 
Sunday, and uh, I, w- I want you to take a look at something, or I want to see if you notice anything about it. It's a little slideshow. Uh, the first is a picture of me doing the classic toilet selfie, and man, I can't... Everybody now that I do their wedding wants me to take a toilet selfie, and uh, <laughs> I, listen, I appreciate people hiring me, but sometimes I have to go out of my way to you know, find a bathroom and do it, but it's all good, man. It, it, it was fun. This you, one, is it like rate my bathroom or something? Or like... I don't know, man, but hey, I find it funny, so I'm glad my clients find it funny. All right. All right, I'm on Instagram.com forward slash DJ Omar Khan because okay. that's your handle. So it, it's, um, it's the latest hard see. post. So there's a selfie. Yeah, and then all go right. go to so the video dancing. number, the, the first video. Yeah, go to the first video and watch okay. it all the way through. Uh, tell me if you notice anything. I'm probably playing like catch or something. Down. Jumping up. Oh, I don't have audio. I just Okay, it's fine. Uh, was it the, the dude like pretending to snort Coke? Okay, so you think he's pretending? Oh, no. Oh. Wait. I just caught it at the... He took a hit? He took a bump right there? And by the way, this is a, a wedding I DJed in broad daylight. I mean, it was an early wedding. It started... The ceremony was at 2. Uh, it didn't end until 9, so it was a long, long day. But uh, that time right there, it was maybe 7, 7.30-ish. And I didn't notice, Dave, when I posted this. So... I inadvertently posted this guy <laughs> taking a bump of cocaine. How funny is it, though, right? No, he he didn't really. Do Listen, it, I don't know the guy. I even talked to the guy a couple of times, and at the time, I was man, this guy acting kind of funny. But everybody was drinking and having a good time. But he did seem a little amped at the time, Dave. So now, upon reflection, I'm like, whoa, that guy was doing cocaine. <laughs> Oh my god! What an animal, right? Yeah. Just in front of everybody, and tell, let me tell you, dude, this is way, a fun crowd for sure. By the way, how old are these people? They look like they're in their or like early twenties or uh, yeah, uh, early mid twenties. I would say. You know what? It, it, Dave, that's a sign of us getting older, man, because everybody starts looking super young. No, these these uh, kids were probably in their mid twenties. I would imagine something like that. Are they Mormons? No, only no, Mormons are getting. Only Mormons are getting married in their 20s now, dude. People no, want to get no, married. no. Uh, well, maybe, the, no, the bride and groom were, you know, just as old as everybody else. They were they were about in their mid, maybe to late 20s, uh, but they had been dating for about seven years or so. And, uh, you know, it was Did a Did they have a kid wedding. and they had to get married? Is no, that why? No kid, no kid. They didn't have else, to get married. Who else is getting married right now so early? Like, Listen, you people. You get married pe- until like 13 years later. Yeah, but I'm a guy who likes to have all his ducks in a row and more. A lot of people just <laughs> fall in love and, you you got to well, make sure. They were together. Yeah, exactly. No, but these people were together seven years. So they even waited a long time. By any seven. stretch of the imagination, seven I've years is a long time I've been with my girlfriend for over 10 years and we're yeah, still not married. Yeah, but you said you're, you're not the type of people to get married. You've said that before. Yeah. You know, so I mean, uh-huh. I, I totally get where you're coming from and you know, every, everybody's different, right, Dave? But, but I, just, I just found that uh, Kev Dog, he texted me Sunday morning. So, so I, I, I did the little post and I was outside washing my car. And then I got a text from Kevin. And then um, I read it. He's like, hey, dude, I think that uh, in video number two, there's a guy doing cocaine. <laughs> By but- the way, what if, what if it wasn't cocaine at all, at all and he's just like a snot kid? Like he's just like, yeah, it oh, might be. Like, it might his, be because it's super snot. not clear. But then not only did Kevin text me about it, but then other people started commenting on the video in my uh, comment sections right there. But I just thought it right. was a super here's, funny video. Here's, here's where I'm going to say it wasn't cocaine. Okay. I mean, do, do you know the family? Are they going to listen to this? Uh, I don't think they'll listen. I think maybe uh, not not that kid's family, but I know okay, um, good, Richard, all... Richard, the father of the groom, listens from time to time. But he's all good. He's super the cool. The father of the groom. See? Yeah. yeah. Like, the father of the groom's a jankster. Yeah. But his kid, who they probably made him get married because they had a no, baby. No, 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 like no, 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 no. super <laughs> like, Christian or something like that. No. But that kid... Looks like a dork, right? He he kind of so, does there. So well, he, Dave, I will he say he ain't doing cocaine. I don't know. Uh, he ain't doing cocaine. Yeah, because all right, all if right. he was doing cocaine, he would be up in the mix, getting wild, <laughs> going crazy, and he'll do it in the bathroom like a normal cocaine user, right? Yeah. Or he would use something to do the bump. He wouldn't line it up on his end. He was cleaning snot, dude. That Maybe. was a snot nosed dork. Maybe okay. That's what it was. All right, all right. So he's a dork, not cocaine. Well, so Jenks does. Jenks does. If you want to make up your own mind, you could check it out on my Instagram at DJ Mercon. It's the latest hard post, uh, video number two. It's towards the tail end. That's why I didn't notice it, but it's very funny either way. Because 
because it, it comes out of the kind of nowhere, right? David surprises you at the end. You're like, whoa, yeah, wait, like, well, what did I just like, see? I had to look at it three times yeah. because I was looking at, obviously, the kids dancing. And yeah. I was like, oh, did someone fall or anything? And, yeah. And I was like, nope. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Just but dork uh, cleaning his snot, you but, know, like. Yeah. Uh, but all the gigs are coming stuff. back and I'm super happy. If you need a DJ, DJOmarcon.com. You can hire me for any event. I'll DJ your freaking baby shower if you need a DJ for a baby shower. I'll do it all, man. So. If- even funeral? Would you do a funeral? I would do a funeral, yeah, for sure. As long as I'm getting paid, Dave, I will show up, <laughs> man. It's no big deal, would dude. You, yeah. you know? I mean, I don't think really? there's a gig so, I would turn down, to be honest with you. Yeah. As long as I could do a good job at if, it. Yeah. What about if there was like a uh, like a, a consummation ritual? Where they needed like slow jam, but you were oh, DJ. So hell you gotta, like, yeah! With the rhythm. Oh Do yeah! That, <laughs> and then like play <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, dude, I would like, love that. You had to you had to create the temple for the dude. Like, yeah, <laughs> lift your leg. Yeah, oh flip her upside down. So I have to direct him too. It, smack it, rub it down. Well, no, with the music. Oh you're hell gonna yeah! Be like, hell yeah! yeah. I so like you're, that, you're, dude. Control, you're the DJ, man. You're controlling yeah. the party. Yeah, you're for controlling sure. the tempo. And then after the money <laughs> shot, I'll play Shake It Off, Shake It Off, right? Because you have to shake your pee-pee off because uh, that was the money shot. Moving on, Dave. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a question for me? So, oh, listen. Like I said, the pandemic's over. And now we're gonna about to go see people that we haven't seen in a year. And, true, and very change, true. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, people may have not been following up. Like you know, you don't know what what they're looking like. People were cutting their own hair. Oh yeah, and, and I've gained a few you know, pounds. Every, I think out, everybody. I think everybody's gained a few pounds. You know, so yeah. Food, Fruit, few pounds, growing beards. Like I seen people with like gnarly ass beards, or yeah. you know, shaved heads, and they're now they're letting it grow back. Yeah, and I was, it got me thinking. Like right now, um, my beard is a little gray, and I was thinking, you know, should I dye my beard? Because, like, I plan on going on like interviews or doing Zoom interviews and stuff like that. Yeah, and and, and maybe in person interviews and. I don't want to look like an old dude. Like I don't want to oh, look like an old. That's crazy. So, that's and, and a crazy the question. Who yeah. haven't seen me in over a year. Like I also don't want nothing wrong with gray beards, by the way. Right, right. I just personally think that I would look more attractive to an employer if I had a, a full dark beard. Hey, let me Not let me see your beard beards. because from what I can see here, it's only one little patch. The rest of it's kind yeah, of fine. You have like a it's all gray, like right here. It's like, like a reverse. It's area. like a reverse Jay Leno because remember Jay Leno had all gray hair, but he had that <laughs> one black patch. You have like yeah. all black beard, but you have that one really white patch right there. And then you yeah, have sporadic it's, it's like right white here, hair, right? Yeah, the neck and, yeah. And stuff like, and then I have sporadic white yeah. hair. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, too. that doesn't look my, too my, bad. Top of my head's all nice and black, but yeah. But you know, I, I was thinking about that. You know, like that's interesting, man. What, I what think. Would you do? I think in your case, I would dye my beard. Yeah, now that you bring it up, I think I would totally dye it because yeah, right. Yeah, and, and and it's not a not a huge thing. Are you gonna get one of that? It's called men's something or other that just kind of combs in just and for it, men. Oh yeah, just for men. Yeah, just for men. Yeah, I I obviously don't want it to be like a big paint. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. Like, yeah. So I mean, look, I don't even want to do it because then that involves me being you know like having to take care of it and combing it and, right and stuff like that, but. That involves work, so. Oh man! But dude. it just got me thinking, and I wanted to get your take on it. So, so yeah. yeah, all right. I think I think, I think yeah, beard. especially you know, consi- you know, you have to take into consideration the uh, the employer you wanting to put your best foot forward. I guess best not that forward. it, yeah, not that it. I mean, it, it, it looks fine, but no, I, I totally understand with your, with yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and plus, you know, what if I haven't seen like you know. Like former friends and stuff like that, and they're being like, "Damn, your hair looks good." It's like, yeah, look. look yeah. What happens with the, with the when you happens when you retire? You know, <laughs> your, your your grays go back. Oh man, they they go away. Yeah, no, for no sure. No stress. So yeah, for sure. Uh, <sighs> so uh, some of you have uh, noticed maybe or maybe not because he's here so not frequent. Uh, Beer mug is not here again uh, again because his this guy, dude. I well, swear. Is it Janky Town with Dave and Omar and like special guest uh, beer mug now? Or <laughs> it's Janky Town with uh, you know Dave and Omar and sometimes mugs. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes mugs. Like mugs is a little. We should move his head to a little circle, like with 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 appearances by. Like yeah, you know? you know it's funny because this guy, 
I don't know what's up with him because we decided to do the the game night last Friday night and we m- made it at nine. A lot of our janksters wanted us to do it a little bit early, like eight or seven. Yeah, like at seven. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, some people, they pre-party and they actually missed the first one, right? So we're like, no, Beer Monk has his daughter <laughs> and he likes to put his daughter down. And sometimes she doesn't go down um, <laughs> uh, before <laughs> nine o'clock. So we're like, no, nah, we're going to do a Beer Mug, a solid. And... Um, you know, do it at nine o'clock. Uh, just like that one time where we moved our entire recording session <laughs> to fit his uh, schedule and he just didn't show up. He overslept, right? So this time around, he yeah. he, he, he uh, makes us go at nine, from nine to 11. We actually ended up going another hour uh, because we don't know how to run events uh, properly. <laughs> but he, show, he shows up on the Zoom and he's already at a bar. He went to O'Grady's. His uh, watering hole where he constantly or yeah. went, where he regularly does cheers with beer mug. And that kind of peeved me off a little bit. Right, Dave? Did it tick you off a little bit? You know what? Not a little bit. It ticked me off a lot. Yeah. Because, you know, we, we did this so he could, like you said, you know, have time with his daughter. And it turns out he's not even with her. Oh, and God. he's at a bar. And not only like I didn't even care if he was at a bar and he told us I'm going to be at a bar. And but I'm gonna be in a room and it was loud as fuck. It was loud and it was so distracting. It was was throwing us off. Yeah, you know, like there was one time where I clicked the wrong thing and totally fucked you up because I couldn't hear shit. Right. Yeah, it was very distracting and uh, he would pop on and off of the Zoom throughout the entire night that he was there and he wasn't even there the entire night. He was there maybe for the first hour and then he didn't return. Uh, thankfully, because it was just a distraction. <laughs> now, Dave, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? I'm going to play you some audio here. And yeah. I think this is the quality that Beer Mug has that makes us love him slash keep him around. And I think <laughs> this is like the only thing that is of a redeemable characteristic that he owns. And that is that he is willing to do any goddamn thing for us. So we, so so we get on get on the or he gets on the Zoom. Everybody boos him because he's on there late, and then we want to punish him. So somebody comes up with the genius of idea of him snorting Tabasco, and at first I'm like, I was just gonna make him do the entire show shirtless. I thought that would be embarrassing, but somebody th- threw that out there, and you know what beer mug does. First thing is that he grabs like uh, like uh, his hand and he puts like a puddle, like a big puddle of Tabasco in, in the palm of his hand puddle. and he snorts it. And here's a piece of the audio from the game night. And by the way, we're going to put um, some highlights on YouTube. So if you want to go to the Janky Town YouTube to watch it, because it was it's too much. The what? <laughs> the Janky Town. Uh, what did I say? Oh. Janky down. Oh, sorry, dude. I'm tired, dude. I'm I'm, I'm really tired. By the way, Dave, uh, if it's not enough, yeah. 16 stations doing the Janky Town podcast. I just started doing another podcast today through Odyssey. What? Yeah, yeah. So, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Jesus, uh, it's because about? I don't. It's because I don't have enough to do, Dave. That's that's my life, man. It's, it's wait, <laughs> you like you're producing it or uh, you're uh, hosting uh, it? Uh, I'm producing slash hosting it, and um, my with other who? with Klein. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it, and uh, it, it's called the Classic Dad Podcast. If you guys, if the Jenksers want to peep it out, it's going to be available when you are listening to this episode. Episode number one should be available. Yeah, it's called the Classic Dad Podcast. We're going to be talking about kind of like the dad lifestyles on episode number one. We talked to a grilling expert. We talked to Brad uh, Williams, you know, uh, funny man Brad Williams about being a, a, a new new father. You know, his daughter is almost two years old, how that's been. And then we talk about me and my dad leaving me when I was two and then my stepdad leaving me when i was kind of like 16 so it's very twisted not it's called the classic dad podcast but it's very uh our sense of humor you know because you know you know me and then you know klein so yeah, um, yeah. so uh yeah it's something that odyssey is having us do so we're like all right yeah omar doesn't have enough <laughs> things to do so there, yeah 
they're having you do. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's, that's so all so I need to know. So there's that. Okay, um, where was I? But so I am very tired, Dave. <laughs> and uh, so I did not yeah. only. So not only did I do <laughs> Striker and Klein this morning, and uh, then I recorded the podcast, the Classic Dad podcast. But now I'm on Janky Town. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so 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 if I uh, slur my words a little bit, I'm not drunk. My mind is just turning into mush. <laughs> that's all that's happening. Um, so here is a little bit of the audio from the game night. Uh, of that janky town hosted and we're going to start and stop this because this is right when i believe beer mug starts snorting that tabasco so yeah, wait should i shot. snort the tabasco first or do the shot Snorting it. Snort it. 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 Okay, this is where he snorts. I like here. that idea too. Whoever said that? <laughs> <laughs> Just do what he said. Butt chugging, butt chugging. Oh, oh, oh that's a God. lot. All right, go for it. Oh, oh shit, uh, muggos. Here he is. Here he is. Oh, oh shit, muggos. Oh, Ready? Oh, Ready? That's good. Do it. So go. There he goes. Oh, here you go, go muggos. The nose for it. Oh, muggos. Oh, oh, muggos. Oh, 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 no. I call bullshit. Oh, no, no, he no, closed no. his nose. Okay, somebody called bullshit. He closed his nose. Oh. Listen to how yeah. angry Muggs gets because somebody yelled at. And by the way, Janksters, he started yelling at somebody else prior to this for some unknown. Do you remember why he yelled at somebody, Dave? No, oh, because he was booed. He, he was getting booed. Yeah, know. exactly. So this, so this <laughs> continues. The, and here's where Beer Mug loses his ass a little. A little. Well, you listen. You pissed in a big oh, house. That's, yeah, oh. there you go, Mugs. Oh. Nah, he rubbed it in the Yes, Muggles. Yes, Muggles. Fuck yeah. I got a Muggles. And the shot. And the shot. Shot, shot, shot. Wait, wait, wait. No, fuck. No, he has to butt chug. His eyes not even tearing up. Your eyes not even tearing up. Don't give me that. In his beard. Whoever it's all in his mustache. It's in your cum, it's in your cum catcher. Bullshit. Don't give me that. <laughs> you don't don't fight him. Not off one tear. Not one guy. Tear. <laughs> oh he said, "Try to lick the Tabasco off my ball sack." If you guys missed that, which is very funny, by the way. <laughs> yeah. so fight him. Not one tear. Not one goddamn tear, dude. Oh, no, if you would have spoken it, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, you oh, pinched it on your nose. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, well, lady I friend. Really I, I, I saw it go up his nose. It happened. I, I trust lady friend here. He tried to be Everybody boom. Thank boo you. that man. <laughs> boo that man. <laughs> 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 So everybody booed him, and you hear how frustrated Dave was there because anytime Beer Mug was on, it was that chaotic because of the noise from the bar. It was a mess. Yeah, Yeah. it was a mess. So we were kind of, I mean, listen, I wasn't glad that he wasn't around for the entire show because he's entertaining, right? He could have been funny, and he could have helped us in other ways, but he decided to go to a bar, and I'm glad he was only there for for an hour or so. So he he snorts a Tabasco, and I think I kind of got sick and tired of him, so I kind of booted him out of there, right? (laughs) So then I kept the uh, I kept yeah I kept the uh, minimizing him as well. Yeah. Like and then like, all right that's enough. So then he pops back in and we were getting ready to get into uh like a AMA part of it and uh, we had a special guest c- uh, coming in and we we're going to get to th- that sort of stuff but this this happens. Wait wait wait. Oh. Look at this. Oh wait. Is he <laughs> <pinky? Hold on. laughs> this is beer mug in the bathroom. Just puking because he snorted Tabasco up his nose. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Look at this. Oh, wait. Is he puking? Oh, no. oh, 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 I fucking love you, Bubba. Oh. It is finally getting with all the hair in your nose. It's finally getting with all the hair doesn't oh fail. Muggles doesn't let us down. That you can just blur out. that you can just blur that so, okay, can I just so now? now we know how oh, mugs what? looks when he's gagging 
Uh, so, so Dave, let me ask you. So, is that uh, uh, the redeeming quality that Beer Mug has? And is that why we keep him around? Because he, br- that is gold, dude. I don't care who the f you are. That is awesome. Yeah, but yeah. to rely on him and him not be there, like, he is that not that guy, Dave. He, uh, oh, trust me. Listen, nobody used to get more pissed off than me, especially when we first started this podcast, right? Because uh, yeah. I was doing a lot, and uh, you know, it was pandemic, quarantine, and I was getting all pissed. And but I, now I have decided to kind of let that go because if not, I'm just going to be angry all the goddamn time. And I didn't want this yeah. podcast to start being not fun. So as soon as I was like, let well, go, listen. yeah, I think. Five percent, Dave would let it go. Uh-huh. But bro, I'm doing fifteen percent. You are. You so, stepped up like, your game. I, I, yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't. You know, stand by and and let someone not contribute anymore. Oh man. Like, yeah. but then that contrib- that contribution is a hundred percent right there. Like that is. Yeah. Right. <sighs> that is so good. I yeah. think I think that's why he gets his pass because he does stuff like this. He licks poop off the floor. He does bubble rack <laughs> beer mug. You know what I mean? He, it's just like this is what he beer gets mug is in the made. head. Yes, and, you know. Oh my protection. god! So yeah, janksters, we're gonna put up like uh, maybe an hour of the uh, the game night up on the YouTube's, and if you want to go check it out and subscribe while you're there, that would uh, do us a tremendous world of good. And uh, here, let's uh, give beer mug a call and actually let's talk to this guy and. Uh, see why he's yeah not, why isn't he here yeah why is he not here again oh god damn. and uh he'll tell us what the uh um the following day was like after snorting tabasco is he gonna ghost us again dave <laughs> of course he is he's not gonna answer because why would he we need we're depending on him that is true and you did have a conversation just Hey, you reached my show. Oh please. my god. I, I Are mean, you kidding, Muggs? I mean, did we not did we not confirm this prior to yes. this recording? Just date? like 30 minutes ago, you were like, "Hey dude, is it cool? I know you can't be on this one, but can we could just call you so you can break down why <laughs> you're not here?" And he's like, "Yeah, of course." <laughs> ah, funny. Oh, here we go. One more time. And then if he doesn't pick up, we're moving on. Agreed? Uh, we'll give him two more chances. Okay. Yeah, three strikes you're out. All right. You son of a bitch, Muggs. But then he snorts Tabasco, and it's fine. You know, he gets coronavirus, and it's snort. funny, so it's fine. Oh, is this Muggs? Muggs? <laughs> He's got a janky phone, and it's fine. <laughs> what the hell, Muggs? Is that you? I know that where he lives, he gets terrible service. Should I call him back? One more time. Sure. One more three, time. Three strikes, you're out. All right. Jesus, yeah. Louises, man. Uh, this kid. Beer Monk has done some crazy stuff in his radio career. <laughs> oh, he's a he's a jackass of our crew. You know what he hasn't done? Answer his fucking phone. <laughs> oh. He reached my show. Oh, Please leave him back. Son of a I bitch. hate him. I All swear. Right. He, I hate him, dude. God damn. God damn it. <laughs> and Dave, remember, uh, because, I, listen, I had been drinking a little bit at the game night, and I posed the question to everybody. Remember? Were you there? Were you there? A little bit. Y- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was there. Yeah, and I was like, dude... What the heck with beer mug? Do we really need him or whatever? And I put it to a vote for all the janks does it act to vote on. And every every single one were like, yeah, man, he, we love mugs. He's part of the family. And you know why? It's because snorts Tabasco. That's why. God he damn snorts it. Snorts Tabasco. God damn it. Yeah. He shows himself puking. Yeah. So so that was, uh, he was supposed to talk about, when we were going to call him back, he was supposed to uh, talk about how the, fo- uh, the following day he had pus coming out of his nose and it was just not good. Oh. And he went to a wedding. And he lost his wallet. He yeah, lost he, his wallet yeah. and found it. Right. And then also he, well, he was going to tell us why he wasn't able to record this episode is because his house got flooded. He thinks that uh, his <laughs> bathtub got uh, backed up somehow. Who knows? You know how he got flooded? Uh, and because his, his uh, tub is all clogged up? Mm. Because of his fucking Harry Bush. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. Why. And he has his Manscaped That's gear, why. dude. Use it, you son of a bitch. Uh, from the game night, <laughs> the only other thing that I wanted to mention, if you want to go check it out, is that we did interview somebody who is a legit Disney princess. She was... Um, I, forg- princess, I, I forget yeah. the uh, character's name from Raya, but uh, that character was actually drawn or, you know, it was it was kind of like, you know... Well, uh, yeah. 
inspired by by her yeah by her look and stuff so that was that's pretty cool conversation and then also one of the games that we played was uh, we played a jankster version of listener roki and the good rachel blew our minds and i just wanted to give that uh, a little props and also uh florida listener chanel showed us her parrot so that'll be on the game night and uh that was pretty and cool saved a possum's life at the same time absolutely she did yeah so so and <laughs> we found man. out that a couple of our jankster's not only is she pregnant uh, another one in, uh, showed uh, announced that she was pregnant right was it the married yeah. couple so the, the uh um, yeah i forget his name right now but it's the guy who doesn't anthony. shower anthony. yeah anthony anthony the guy who doesn't shower yeah so congrats out to, <laughs> go out to him but man it was a, it was a fun night yep. it was a fun night and yep. uh we might do it uh again and then all the other thing we kind of announced uh is that we might be doing a patreon thing in the future where if you join our patreon not only will you get a commercialist proper janks to uh, episode, but then you will also get a bonus episode, and then maybe once a month we will do a Zoom hang. Uh, but we're not sure about that. We just kind of threw it out there, and we got a lot of positive feedback in regards to that, right, Dave? We did, and uh, I hope that you know it comes to fruition, and we get to hang out with the Jenkses a little more, you know, especially with things opening up, and and we'll have some fun. Yeah, and so it'll be worth your two dollars, no, or whatever for, the fuck we're going to charge for sure. And if you want to, <laughs> and here's the thing for with me, and I don't know if Dave's like this, but I'm very insecure when it comes to especially like a paid subscription service. So if there's enough janksters out there, you know who this sounds good to, just email us at jankytown69 at gmail dot com just to kind of give me some security about it and uh, m- m- you know me <laughs> having me letting me know that it'll be worth somebody's while because i always you know even though we have you know uh pretty big download numbers i just always feel like i don't know is anybody gonna care and i don't want to do it because it's a lot of or work they stop downloading because it's not free anymore, yeah you know or, so like, yeah so like, you know it, so if that sounds good to you i guess it, i guess the top tier is the kind of the tier package that we would do i think right Dave? three bucks a month and you would yeah. get all that stuff and uh yeah so so uh we're just throwing it out there we're kind of uh uh talking behind the scenes to see if we really want to commit to that but if there's enough people out there that truly think it's a good idea to get some bonus content and not only will you get the bonus uh podcast but that you also get you know probably one zoom hang a month and also bonus video content because that would be a a huge incentive for me because you know let's be honest sometimes money is uh uh, it's an incentive right so i I have a factor yeah man i have no problem like exposing people to our shenanigans if they want it but right now 16 stations another podcast <laughs> on top of this podcast <laughs> and striker and Klein. stations two podcasts not yeah one, but two. yeah exactly so i'm a little <laughs> spread thin now however i really do have fun doing this with dave and sometimes mugs <laughs> so <laughs> so and, so and one last thing from the game night oh yeah is you know everyone has hit us up and claimed their prizes except for uh freddie freddie why don't you want your bars of soap of irish spring <sighs> come on freddie bro come on, on freddie you're the only ones and uh i will be meeting with omar and we will be getting those prizes out yeah. to you in about a week or so yep yep so, yep uh, they're on their way they're on their way a week or so from when this airs. Yeah, and the grand prize so was... Two, uh, three weeks. Yeah, and the grand prize was... Oh, uh, yeah. the I forget her name. Tanya, I want to say, maybe? Tanya. Yeah, Tanya, Tanya, yeah. Tanya So won. Tanya won. The grand prize was she's going to go to a Dodger game with, uh, with a beer mug, or maybe beer mug, <laughs> with Dave and I, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we can with Janky Town 2.0. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll invite uh, Garrett Beer Mug 2.0 to go, to go with us. That would be funny. You know, screw Beer Mug. Uh, the other thing I wanted, yeah. uh, the other uh, person I wanted to highlight because this was so impressive. We have such talented people, way more talented than us, that listen to us and appreciate our work, which blows my mind. But we were doing a jank- jankster version of Listener Oki, and the good Rachel blew my mind. Take a listen. Each morning I get up, I die a little, can barely stand on my feet, take a look in the mirror and cry, Lord, what you're doing to me? I spent all my years believing in you, but I just can't get no relief, Lord, somebody, somebody, ooh, somebody. Oh. can anybody somebody. find me? Yeah. Somebody, somebody, somebody. somebody. Oh, Rachel, we're trying to have fun here with that bad scene. And here you are hey, just hey, feeling hey. it. We have a yeah, ring. No Freddie Mercury has spoken and you won. <laughs> yeah, she totally killed it, right, Dave? I was so impressed. Dude, that sounded so good. And mind you, that's over a fucking computer mic. I know, like, right? 
<laughs> you oh know? my god! And then you got a bunch of assholes like going over, talking over, like no, let her hit the I high know, note. Oh, I know, man, but man, I just wanted dicks. to highlight that dude because it was so good. Listen, even though it was such a cluster f at times, and I really did get frustrated, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, what are we doing here? And I was trying to keep everything, you know, uh, kind of going. It was hard, right, Dave? And we had so many people. It was. We had like a, we had like it's at hard. one point, I think we had uh, reached our capacity at a hundred, and then people started dropping off and on, and we forgot to mention. Um, that Kevin Ryder stopped by. So if you didn't join the yeah. Zoom, you miss hanging with Kevin. Kevin stopped by really quick and uh, you were able to ask him questions. Naked. And he was naked. He was naked. And yeah. now we found out why they do call him Thicky. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting janky it's getting janky it's getting janky. I love it when we jank around. It's getting janky. It's getting janky. It's getting janky. I love it when we jank around. Janky! Yeah. Town. Uh, yeah, I am losing it, Dave. I am fading quick here, my friend. <laughs> well, we're tired. almost done, dude. We only got about 45 more minutes to go. So, <laughs> no. So let's do this. Um, so... Thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, this is Janky Town, episode number 44. And uh, as always, you can call the Jank line, 855-Janky69. And the email's address is, uh, I can't even say email address, is uh, jankytown69 at gmail.com. And we always enjoy hearing from you. And uh, yeah, let us know and what you think you about the Patreon follow thing. us on the socials. Yes. Uh, at jankytown 69 Right? Yeah, that's it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Janky69 on Instagram and Twitter. And yes, as Omar was saying before, I rudely interrupted him. Let us know about what you think about the Patreon idea. Yeah, that's interesting you know, for us. And but... what would you like from it? Yeah, what totally. Would you like from it? That's like, a good That's What a good would point. make it worth your your $100? Yeah, for sure. And You know, because like, that's what we're going to be charging. You know? <laughs> $100. Right? And for oh. me, it's also like, uh, I wouldn't also take all the money just for us. I would use a, lot of, a little bit of money to like, you know, create things for our fans you know uh, because Ooh. so we don't have to be so janky and give away you know things like this stupid thing with signed by striker <laughs> I, I we literally uh gave away um on the game night a cheese board set signed by striker because he uh, gifted this to me uh to me for christmas and it says on it dear omar i love you signed by striker <laughs> By the way, you need to cross out Omar and put the the winner's name on it. Yeah, yeah. And then uh and so that way it's it's uh, a little more special to that winner. Yeah. And then you write me too, yeah. Omar. <laughs> because I mean, l- let's be honest, we love our fans, so we like we would like to treat you better, you know? So we would take some of the funds yeah. and do like, oh man, how would it how awesome would it be to do actually like a real nice proper live event down down the way, you know? That would be amazing. I know. And, and, like, this is how janky we are right now. We gave away a grand prize of, uh, you know, go see a Dodger game with Janky Town. And we told the winner, no plus one. <laughs> we're just just you. And, and we're just buying the ticket. We're not buying snacks. Yeah. We're not buying beers. The ticket, and like, the, is 80 fact, bucks, right? You might right? have to buy us beer. Yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah, and we're getting the cheap seats. We're going all yeah. the way up, bro. Like, oh, uh, all the way up. Yeah, so if, so, you know, we made a little bit more scratch. I'm calling it scratch these days, Dave. Uh, then yes. uh, <laughs> then uh, we could we do, you know, a little bit more uh, things that are a little bit cooler, I think. And, uh, you know, I mean, extra uh, video content. I mean, a lot of people want to see kind of like, you know, the behind the scenes of how uh, things work here, how I do it technically. And, uh, you know, we could do a lot of cool stuff, I, I, I think. Um, so, so yeah, let us know about that. Uh, Dave, do, do you want to call uh, a certain man right now? Yes. Well, I'll set this up. Oh, okay. Um, you know, as we all know, California is now open up, but about a month ago, the city of Vegas opened up. Oh, I was there, dude. I was there and like we three had, weeks ago. Yeah. We had an operative go and oh, that's right. hang out in Vegas and give, and I want to get his review. Awesome. So I, I think we should give him a call okay. and, you know, let's ask him about all the top hot spots that he went to, <laughs> yeah. all the, the, clubs. the buffets, all, all the, the restaurants. Please leave you know, your the message clubs. for seven, one, <laughs> oh, four. Come on, dude. This guy, right? Oh, man. I forgot to put, uh, put uh, press star six, seven, dude. 
Uh oh. Well, that's all right. He didn't answer anyway. Okay. So if you block uh, it. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let me let me try Here, one more time. Message. Please leave your message for seven one. It sounds like his phone is turned off, Dave, because it doesn't even ring. I think it just goes off. God damn it! All right. Well, no go for that. The guy who we were supposed to talk to right there was uh, the international man of mystery, Doto. He went to Vegas, and we wanted to get his Vegas review. Now that things are all opened up, because he, he can, where, can, where did can he I go? Just... Yeah. I don't know where he went, but <laughs> here's here's uh here's our, my interaction with him and and uh, telling him, hey, he's like, I'm in Vegas, and ah, let's see, you're in Vegas right now. And he goes, yep, drank too much like last night, damn drunk. <laughs> and I wrote to him, cool. Can you record a, another video? Because he he recorded a video for us while he was in yeah. Vegas, and then you know, and review review Vegas for the podcast. You know, do it at a landmark. And he's like, I'm back, man. I didn't do the video. And then he goes, I was sick for, <laughs> got the flu for a few days there. I'm better now. Oh, my God. I was like, in Vegas, that would have been a great video. And he okay. goes, I'll be there again in July 9th through April 6th. And I was like, August 6th. And I was like, what the hell? Like, why is he going so much? And I, I, I'm thinking about it, dude. Oh, prostitute. Maybe he's going back to the, to the same prostitute. Yeah, dude. So he has like a monthly appointment with her. Oh, that makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. He probably does, dude. Right? Oh my god, we gotta talk to him. Get the sex. All right, from... we're gonna we're gonna try to get him for the next episode for sure. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So we have we have no doto. We have no mugs. Everything's falling apart. This all right. Episode. So far, so far this. this I thought last week's episode was gonna be the jankiest. I thought the, the two episodes ago was gonna be the jankiest. Hey, hey, and then hey, hey. We topped ourselves last episode, yeah. and hey. now this one. You know what's funny, Dave, is oh. that our show is getting jankier uh, by the second, and now we're asking people to pay for it. <laughs> Oh man! Maybe. Wow. Maybe that's... everyone's gonna say like, "Nah, we're out, dog. We're not gonna pay for it." We're like, "Okay." Uh, that's well, how cool. we roll. That's how we roll. So uh, the last couple of episodes, I've been uh, promising to do the jank line, but just blowing off. Oh wait, somebody's calling me here. Doto. Hey, hey, buddy. What's up, man? Hey, man. What's happening, dude? How are you? I just got back from Vegas, man. Got last week. And good, man. Do. How's it going, man? Good, man. I need, I need some babes, man. Hey, how long were you in Vegas for? Well, last week I was there for about three to four days. The reason why I was there is the old man have we, we we got a timeshare there. You have a timeshare in Vegas? Like where yes. at, man? Like what location? Is that one of the uh, Hiltons? Is it the is it the MGM Signature Suites? With, with my old man, something like that, Dave and and, and Mar- You guys could come along, man. <gasps> Are you not serious? Some, not something like that. Like which which yeah. one is it? Because if it's at the Signature Suites, we'll we'll totally go. Yep, like because because we have, have you guys ever, ever ever heard of the Mara Mara vacation? That that's pretty much where 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 where, where, they're, where, where the old man has his time so you can use it around the world. Marriott we, we vacation, the, the, okay, yeah, yeah. Is it the Marriott Vacation Club? Yes, like yes, yeah. Oh, it's not Tahiti you, Village, right? Because that's like a scam. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely careful about those stuff, man. Hey, Doto, so are you serious, yeah. dude? Can Dave and I go with you one of these days? But possibly the, the old man just got time to just last. <laughs> Come on, dude! Just last week. Your tone changed so quickly. First, you're like, "Yeah, man, you guys going want to go <laughs> yeah. party," and now you're like, "I don't know, maybe." Yep. yep. <laughs> hey, at least you're upfront about it. Hey, uh, uh, before we uh, brought you on, Dave was uh, kind of saying it's kind of strange that you keep going to Vegas. Last time <laughs> we talked to you, you had yeah, that, mentioned that, 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 that you ran I, into a lady of the night that you befriended a prostitute down there, right? Yeah, because she, guess where she works? She works at Clark. Have you guys? Heard, I'm sure that you guys heard of Clark County, right? Because that's where prostitution is legal. Clark I've heard, County. I've heard of it. Clark yeah, County. Yeah, that's where that's where Las Vegas is at. That's where the strip is located. You know, yes. I wish it was. I wish it's. I wish it was legal here in California, man. Yeah. So don't we all? Why, do? Yeah, but yeah, but you know what? If we have more Democrats. No, no. Why do you Democrats, wish it was legal why not, here? Right. Because, because because guys are still going, guys and women are still going to do it anyways, right? Regardless of what the law says. Hey, you know what, Dave? Uh, Doe, Dave, what's your name? Hey, you know, I think two adults, <laughs> two consen- consenting ass yep. adults, if they want to exchange money for sex, as long as they're you know right in their mind, I I don't see, I don't have a problem with it. You know, so so yeah, no. but 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 a lot of physicians like doctor like doctor Jew may have an issue with that because I thought the physician have some ethics they have to follow, right? 
I don't know where he falls on the issue, know. but I think if people of a sound mind want to do, you yeah. know, that kind of exchange, for me anyway, personally, I think it's fine. You know, hey, as long as as long as they're not, they're not hurting anybody, they're not violating any laws, then I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly fine with that. Why not, right? Yeah, no shit. Hey, uh, Doe, yeah. so that leads me to my next question. Have you ever partaken in paying for sex? You know what? Back, back in 2014 when I was in Malaysia, I, I kind of got with the lady. And she's and yeah, it, I paid her like about fifty bucks. Fifty bucks? Whoa! I, I'm not sure it was. It that could seemed be like a lot in Malaysia. It could that have been was back in that. That was back in the early 2000s, man. Right, it was cheaper now. Inflation, right? They, but come was, on. was that fifty dollar <laughs> Malaysian dollars or like American dollars? You know, so that's, I'm, that's I'm gonna, like a lot of money, though. They call it a ringgit. How much did I pay a ringgit? I, I pay him like maybe a yeah, hundred. Is that not a lot of money in Malaysia? I pay may, maybe a hundred dollars ringgit. A hundred dollars ringgit. That's about thirty bucks and thirty bucks U.S. dollars. She said, I, I don't know. She, she just said it like that because last time I was on a tour and then I, I guess I was, I, I was, I didn't know what to do. So check check it out at nighttime. Why not? Right? No, exactly. Why not? Uh, uh, Doe, let me ask you. How was uh, the experience? How was it? And how long did it last? And did she spend the night? Like, what what was it like? Did you go to a hotel or did you take her back to you? You know, your place where you were staying. It was at a disco club. At a disco club, so they had a room, like a private room, in a disco yes. club. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no way! So how long? Uh, how much time did he have you with went her? To the champagne room. I was I was in the room for for, for an hour. For an hour, whoa! And uh, what kind of uh, activities did you kind of take it slow? Have a couple of cocktails? Did you talk her yeah, up yeah. or, yeah? And uh, so, yes, I did. And then what? What kind of you know sexual like you know uh, things did you guys do? I don't know, man. She she, she she was making the moves on me. Really? Yeah. yeah. Nice. nice so that's awesome, dude. Hey, so do you think uh, uh, you would do that again, like in Vegas? I don't know, man, because I thought that. With all the diseases, with all the pandemic, O'Connor, I'm not probably going to think twice. Yeah, good point, good point. Yeah, but it's over yeah. now, though. I mean, when you went to Vegas, wasn't it, like, fully open? So you were able to go to yep. all the clubs, all the restaurants, all the bars were open, all the tables. Everything's fully open now. So what did you go to? What did you do? Did you go to XS? Did you go to Omnia? Did you go to uh, Tao? Where did you go, bud? Uh, pre- yeah, did you see uh, Tiesto? When I was there, I, I pretty much, me and, me and the old man, we were pretty much at the, Bla- at the Bellagio. And what did you guys do? What kind of All activities right. do you guys do? Do you guys gamble or do you guys eat at the fine restaurants that the Bellagio has to offer? What, what, what did you guys do? We, we ate at the fine re- restaurant. The, old, the guy's not a gambler. He's oh, he's not, not a, gambler. a gambler. Okay, what kind of but, food? What kind of food do you eat? You, you, when I'm there, I, I definitely, I, I definitely want European food, French food, Italian food. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um. So, did you do anything fun in Las Vegas? Because so far, you could have just gone out to L.A. and eaten at a French or Italian you, restaurant. You could have gone to the local Olive Garden, and you would have had the same kind of time. Yeah. Because what I did fun in Vegas? I don't know, man. I, I, I just just slept in a, in a damn hotel. Hey, but seriously, dude, Dave and I want to go party with you in Vegas. Seriously. Really? Hell's yeah. Let's, let's do it, man. Okay. I would part. I would party with you, though, in Vegas. Okay. We'll we're, go crush the strip, bro. We'll, we'll get, get you a chick. We'll set that get up. Get a lady who's 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, Dude, we'll totally get you two ladies that are 5'8". We'll get you one that's 5'8", and one that's 5'9". How is that? Perfect, man. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah, we'll get you two ladies, and it's on it, It's on us. It's on It's on the janksters, you know? So, uh, well, dude, thanks so, so much for calling us, and we'll, we'll, no worries, set, man. we'll set that up, all right, though? Cool, man. All right, dude. Take it easy. Thanks, man. Bye. Oh, he called us back, dude. I love that. That was awesome. Now he has your number, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, listen, Jenkster. Actually, no. I now he, he he'll be fine on the phone. It's gonna if you if you contacted him through Facebook, then uh, he'll be like blowing you up. Well, he does blow me up on <laughs> Facebook, but I I turn the no- notifications off, so now I only you just ignore him. I just ignore it. Yeah, I just ignore it. So it's funny. Man, <laughs> that was great, dude. He actually admitted to, to uh, the prostitution. Remember, he we always thought that he, it happened, but he never one hundred percent admitted to it. But okay, okay. In, yeah, in Malaysia too. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. that's insane, dude. Good for Doe, man. Yeah, yeah it's whatever, fine. Dude. Whatever, man. Good for Doe. Absolutely, absolutely. Good dude. for Doe. And I'm serious about going to Vegas with Doe. I think it would be super fun. I would go for a night. Oh yeah, and then that's uh, it. Oh, I do I just, like, like half do the trip. I would like, like go yeah. with him and then <laughs> exactly uh, like hang out with him and then ditch him. Then <laughs> <laughs> ditch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay uh before let's do it dude honestly let's do it yeah yeah oh yeah i'm all in for sure 
And we could probably get Kevin to go because I bet you that dude is itching to go to Vegas. Like nobody's business. Yeah. Oh, dude, see, that, that's the type of, of quality videos we could put on the Patreon yeah, page. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, dude. Our, uh, our travels to Vegas with Doto. Oh, my God. That would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, All that right. That would be good. Uh, before I was rudely interrupted by the international man of mystery, I was saying that you could call us at 855-Janky69 on the jank line and... Truly, I've been pushing this back so long, I have no idea what's in this file, Dave. So let's listen along and see what uh, what's happening. Is, hold on. Is this the same file that you sent Mugs that we were supposed to do when you were out? And yep. then I asked him to send me, and he never did because he's fucking beer mug. Yep. And so now we're finally getting to it three weeks later. Yep, that's the After one. you sent it to him. Yep, so that's right. let's see where we're at. <laughs> let's see where we're at. Gangsters, what's up? This is Alina. I'm calling from... Um, in Rosa, California, and I'm listening to uh, your most recent oh, shit. What episode is this? Because if I say most recent, you guys are hella Two. behind. Uh, episode 35. And Rambo just called complimenting Dave on his what you're watching cover B52, whatever. Oh yeah, his intro. And I had to just call and say that I totally agree because this morning, before I even listened to the episode, I was I was singing the song, just totally random, <laughs> totally random. And I thought, and I'm singing it. I'm thinking, what the fuck am I singing? Where the hell did this song come from? And then I was like, oh yeah, it's from Jenny Town, and I put Jenny Town <laughs> on. And I just have to call. Um, it's four point. I get on all you guys and talk really high at the end of the day. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dave. How does that feel, dude? Dude, that's pretty cool. None yeah, of my, right. None of my uh, intros r- rarely hit. Yeah, so man. I'm glad people like that. Uh, what you're watching one? Hell's yeah. And it's fun. It's fun to do. Hell's yeah, dude. That's dope, dude. Like one if if. If we ever get back into like normal studio, uh, you know, kind of an environment, then we might start kind of like, you know, d- doing music. But for now, those things are amazing, Dave. Truly, man. I love that. <laughs> hey, Dave. I was just calling to say that I'm glad you're okay, that the tire blowout didn't cause any kind of accident. i um, just calling with my own story, like 2010 ish. I was a brand new driver, teenager. My car was a 1992. Forerunner with no AC, you know, in Southern California. And I was driving it one night on the 10 freeway. I had a blowout. It blew out the passenger front tire. And afterwards, like a mechanic I talked to afterwards said that it had ripped out the tire ripped like the electrical and took out like the car computer. Wow. All I knew is when it happened, it was a huge bang. I lost my lights. I lost my brakes. I was slamming on the brakes. Nothing was happening. I could barely turn. Um, the car was angling like just to automatically to the left. I was trying to turn the wheel as hard as I could to the right. I couldn't really get it to turn very much. I couldn't slow down, and I just smashed right into the center divider. Um, I mean, it was 1992 Forerunner, so like that thing was like a boat, and I didn't get hurt really. Um, but yeah, it was scary. So I'm really glad that you're okay and your girlfriend's okay and just everybody stay safe. Squish. Squish. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God. Well, I'm glad she's okay. Yeah, I mean, no that kidding. Sounds, yeah. That sounds way worse than what I went through. Yeah, no I kidding. just had a little beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a flat tire. <laughs> you yeah. know, but then I saw the tire and it, it was a blowout. But her, she had to go through that whole experience and man. It is crazy. That, can you imagine just that that thud of hitting the center divider yeah and thankfully she didn't hit anybody else no absolutely Oof. and uh yeah jangsters if you yeah. ever hear us talking about something please do c- call the uh jangsta w- w- what is it the jank line <laughs> the jank line <laughs> call the jank line and leave your story because we love hearing those stories man and it's like uh, yeah. it's just amazing and uh the one thing that we are also follow us on the social medias because um the one thing that i was talking to this radio consultant about is that a lot of the new radio shows, not the new radio shows, a lot of the radio shows are now doing what we've done in the past, but we're terrible at pre-planning. But we're going to start tweeting out or Instagramming out like topics that we want to talk to uh, people about and just reply, and you could be a guest on Janky Town to tell your story. We just got to come up with... Uh, Kind of like what kind of content we want to talk about, but yeah, be on the lookout for that. And yeah, you so have it's like calling topics through uh, through in- through Instagram, through Ab- Twitter, absolutely through Facebook. Yep, 
Yeah. Oh, what's your what's your Twitter and Instagram? Uh, DJ Omar Khan. All my stuff is DJ Omar Khan. Yeah. Yours? Uh, and for me, it's Dave K O M, but the O is a zero. Yeah, Woo-hoo, that's that's not someone confusing. has my name. <laughs> not at all. Yep. But at least they're the same on both platforms. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, so, and then uh, of course that Jackie Town Six Nine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's dead. Anyway, he, so is, he is. Or <laughs> flooded away. <laughs> Hey, Jankytown. Uh, this is your Jankytown resident number uh, 1269, James. Uh, Colin was kind of an ask me anything. Uh, hey, Beer Mug, when are you headed back to the beach for some um, uh, body surfing? Omar, what is the spiciest thing you and Cassie still do now that you are like a you know full-fledged husband and wife with a, with a family and busy all the time? And uh, Dave, uh, since you're not working, what's the biggest thing, best thing you're doing that makes you happy? See you guys on the podcast. Ah, oh, good questions. Uh, Beer Mug, you want to go first? When are you going to go back uh, to the beach and uh, paddleboard or whatever? Well, as you know, I'm pretty outrageous. So I'm waiting for the waves to like pick up and be like over 30 feet so I could, you know my body all up in there and you know waiting for Laird Hamilton who's my pal now <laughs> because uh outrageous John Chicago all right I uh, got a good answer for right. mug uh let's see uh what is the spiciest thing um, me and my wife do hey <clears throat> listen I'm not gonna fake the funk uh with, with kids <laughs> I mean we have to kind of pick and choose when we can get frisky uh we get frisky Probably uh, once a week, uh, I would imagine. Uh, sometimes, hey, good for you, man. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's a little bit higher. Sometimes it's a little bit lower. Usually, uh, our, our frisky time is uh, Friday night, Saturday morning, probably like around one a.m. You know, around that time because we know the kids are sound asleep, and even if we're a little uh, like no, loud. Let's go to <laughs> house at 1 okay. And uh, listen, we, uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to get into uh, graphic detail, but we get, uh, you know. Too late. <laughs> we, <laughs> you know, we get down. You know, we don't we don't do anything like uh, super crazy, but we are still pretty young, and uh, you know, we 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 sometimes we go a little bit crazy and go for a long time. Sometimes, you know, yeah, <laughs> especially especially if we've been drinking, <laughs> then it kind of goes it goes on. You know how that is. You know, the drinking sex. Yeah, it could go on for a little. Oh bit, yeah. So. So yeah, we still we still we still uh, gets gets it on, uh, but yeah, it has definitely slowed down. But I mean, that's just kind of like normal. But when we get away, that's a different story because uh, you know when you go on vacation <laughs> and leave the kids behind, like hotel sex. Oh, that's when you're doing the flying Ooh, porpoise. And, yeah, you know, dude, I'm like flying the wobbly H, and uh, yeah, yeah, you know the well, uh, wobbly H. I don't know about that one, but <laughs> other things. Uh, hey, Dave, uh, you lowercase. <laughs> Uh, what's keeping you happy? What do you do? What's keeping you happy these days? Uh, some things that are that are is you know mostly traveling, like being able, like man, you know, oh, you know this. Uh, back when we, we couldn't really leave, we're and always tied down. Like we were, we were slave to the schedule and yeah. stuff like that. But being spontaneous and being able to just be like, hey, do you want to go here for three days or or whatever? So that's been pretty cool, you know. Like, and, and that's been my favorite part. And also sleeping, sleeping has been uh, <laughs> has been great. How, how's you know, that like, Dave? It, uh, I miss sleep. It's great, man. You know, <laughs> I wake up at seven a.m. every day, which doesn't Whoa. seem like that's a lot of sleep, but compared to waking up from three forty-five to yep. four, you know, I, and I go to bed at the same time, I, I, like twelve to one a.m. Yeah, and I did that when I was working too. So yeah, you know, the, the fact that I'm sleep, I feel better and. And so, yeah, so other than that, you know, I mean, would I like a job? Yes, I would like a job. <laughs> but, uh, but the sleep and the, the, the being able to travel spontaneous has been fantastic. Yeah. And I look forward to doing it after I get a new job. Great. Even more. Yeah. So, Great question, man. So, yeah. So that's something. Yeah. So thanks. And I appreciate that call. Hey, guys. It's Geometric Bananas. So I've been trying to make this phone call for the past couple of days, but I've just been super busy and I finally found some time. So let me just say this. I am sitting there excited that the new Janky Town episode is out. And I'm there like, oh, it's going to be fun. Just King and Muggs. And then Muggs goes and gives me a heart attack. Scares the hell out of me. And just as I'm getting ready to walk out the door with my pitchfork and my... What are those things called? Those torches? A torch? I, I don't know. Oh. Those, those things with fire. But, you know, just as soon as I'm getting ready to walk out the door... 
you know, there's mugs with Libra fools. <laughs> so, damn you, mugs. <laughs> damn you. Just, you made me appreciate Omar for a little bit. How dare you? <laughs> for I a little bit. You, Omar, I love you, and I love all of you. Okay, bye. She's the best. She's funny, dude. Oh, She's man, funny. Oh, but dude, he got me with that April Fool's fucking idiot. Like, <clears throat> and you're right. That's the... the when, when he tries... When he tries, man. He good. does. He is good. He is good. When he's like focused and he's not being an emotional beer mug and he's all up in the conversation, he could be very funny and very on it and he contributes and contributes well and his timing's good and he doesn't blame it on COVID fog or doesn't blame it on the delay. Listen, all of us have to deal with this stupid delay, am I right? But he's just, oh man. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. But I can uh, do it. Yeah, so, uh, but that April Fool, I, I got a couple of texts. He's a fucking mugs, <laughs> which I found very I, funny. I, dude, it pissed me off. I was like, this asshole. Because one, I got pissed at you for a quick, like, I, I wasn't even like, I wasn't even pissed that you quit. Yeah. Like, I was pissed that you didn't tell me and you told yeah. fucking mugs. I was like, this fucking dick. He told him first. What an asshole. Oh, man. Oh, uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to give oh, you hi, a friend. taste of my mind. I, I mean, oh, my. I'm gonna give you a taste of my mind. I think the kid is saying that uh, he is gonna give you a piece of his mind, okay? A taste of his mind. Uh-oh, but taste. I think it's okay. a girl. A girl! And yeah. I am not a boy. I'm a girl! I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, main Roman! Yeah! <laughs> You are as mean like a you're as mean as like a bandit. I'm I'm mean like a bandit because I called her a girl, dude. I called her a boy. Sorry, I called her a boy. Yeah. My bad. See, I'm sorry. Who sucks now, friend? Huh? Huh? Who sucks now? That I is, knew you were a girl. That is true. Omar did it. I didn't. I was just like, I think that's a boy, man. Oh, dude. Uh what do you have to say, uh little girl? Tina Mexico sucks. Okay, there you go. Oh, <laughs> again. I was totally wrong. Oh, fuck you, beer mug. Okay? Oh. April Fool's Day is April oh. 1st. It doesn't apply to the entire month. <laughs> Literally, I was listening to the episode, listening to your explanation before you said it was just a joke, and I was in the process of unsubscribing to the podcast because, really, Homar is the only reason why we all listen. <laughs> and sorry, I'm not going to listen no. to you two. So I was about to unsubscribe when you revealed your great master plan of a joke. Ten more seconds, I would have never heard you guys again. You're an ass. <laughs> you got so many people. Who who was that? Because I want to block her on, on socials. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a Brian, and I just saw the Dodgers give up a 7-1 to one lead. What's interesting is that the previous episode you guys put... Al, you had a mama mugs. So you fuckers cursed the Dodgers this week because they did shit. I blame you guys. Bye. I don't know, man. Didn't we have mama mugs on and they won the World Series? Uh, They did, but check this out, though, because I, I thought about this a lot, too. Oh, you did? So when okay. you were out, we had mama mugs on and she was so positive and so, like, I believe the team is playing well. Cool. They look great. She was so positive, like we've never heard her before. That's it. That's what did it. And, you know, um, yeah. And then they went on this, like, big losing streak and played terrible. And I was like, oh. Yeah. We need, we need the negativity. We positive. need the negativity back. We need the, the yeah, negativity yes, back. We need yes, that. Yes, exactly. But now they're doing great. So, yeah. so good for them. Hey, guys. This is Jenks and Nick. Um, you can't I say no. I was just listening to the latest episode, and I'm confused. So did the Coven, um, like, sleep with that new listener? We need to follow up. Thank you very much, Listen, I don't know what uh, Coven is, but the Coven, um, uh, no, I don't think <laughs> I don't think they slept with the new listener. Oh, do you know what they're talking about, Dave? He, he's referring to the, the phone call that they made when they were partying, and, and then the, the joke was on us because... There's no new listener. Oh, like right, it, right, It was right. one of their friends. So, no, they did not sleep with him. Yeah. No. It was a friend of theirs. They did. They just slept with each other. That's what they do. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> this is Jenks to Nick again. And, yes, I did call them the Coven. Chuck oh. Ryan! <laughs> 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 
that guy totally redeemed himself. Oh my god, that was awesome. Uh, we got Char broiled. Way to go, Nick. Can't say no. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, Janksters. Jankster Scott here. Uh, <laughs> I'll just get right to the point. I have a suggestion. You need to do... Well, this is after listening to... Uh, the beer mug's explanation of uh, where 420 came from and uh, <laughs> oh, and the Dodger Stadium. <laughs> Little piece of history. Maybe we do a segment called Don't Ask Beer Mug, all right? Because he doesn't know <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, we're doing that segment right now. How about that? <laughs> Listen, Scott, we've been doing that this whole episode. Don't Ask Beer Mug because Beer Mug's not here. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that idea, though. It's so good. Hello, Mar. Beer Plug. King of Sexico. Domar, Beer Slug, King of Hexaco. Uh, yeah. Or uh, any more. I need help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rude. I hate Pepsi, so please don't call me Pepsico. Yeah, but you're Sexico. That was a good one. That was a good one, yeah. Hi, this is Rachel. Uh, Omar, what is wrong with you? You are a father. You created life and children. And you don't know how to properly stack dishes? I think being unemployed has served you well, Dave, because your your mind is open to the way things should be done. You're not boggled down by work and being stressed out that you can't, you know, properly function. Of course, you should put clean dishes on the bottom of the stack when you're putting them away. Then what is the point? You're you literally just going to use the same three forks or the same cups and plates. You should rotate through what you have, or else you might as well have Marie Kondo and get rid of half your stuff. You always should put clean dishes in the bottom of the stack, and then when you take your dish that you're going to use, you pull from the top. So you're rotating through your plates, you're rotating through your bowls. Is this a female-male thing? Because I feel like that's just good common sense, and it's pretty disappointing to hear that (laughs) Omar thinks that that's just fine. But I'm really disappointed in you, Omar. And good for you, Dave. Keep it up. That just seems like a lot of work, rotating everything. All right, see, here's here's where, where this is what got me thinking because I was thinking about it, and she's right. But then I'm with you guys. You know, the, the plates are heavy, and I don't, I don't want to keep, like, lifting them to put it under, so I'm just going to put them back. Yeah. And, yeah, we have a lot of them, so they'll eventually get used. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they're there for when company comes over. That's what they're there for, you know? Jesus. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know why I decided to call right now. Hearing Omar's stupid message was the worst thing ever. Um, this is Tim. Got my second shot about 13 or 14 hours ago. It's one something in the morning right now. I feel like I'm gonna fucking die. It's so fucking cold. <laughs> that's funny. Well, at least he didn't call it a jab because that's super annoying. <laughs> hey, by the way, when I started complaining about that, it kind of stopped. People stopped doing it, calling it a jab. Did you, did you notice that? Do I wield some sort of power? Uh, I think that that people like you. So if, if it was like Mugs or I who hated it, then oh, it'd be jab 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 jab, jab <laughs> everywhere. Hey guys, so I think it's your likability. Maybe. Hey guys, Tim here. Thought I'd call and give you a follow up on my uh, shitty night. Uh, back at work. Twelve hours later, everything's back to normal. My back hurts a little bit, but yeah, that sucked. That was a shitty fucking seven hours. Sorry to hear that, uh, Tim. Uh, Mugs. Sorry to hear that, Tim. Hey, hey, hey Mugs. He decided to call. <laughs> We're almost done with the episode, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why, ladies and gentlemen, we keep him around. <laughs> Hey, Mugs. Yo. What's Sorry, up? Sorry, I was, I was on the phone with a plumber. What happened, dude? So, uh, there was a little flood at the uh, beer mug residence, uh, which is really uh, Mama and Papa beer mugs residence. But, right. yeah, the whole downstairs area, including where I all my recording equipment is, the floor is about an inch of water. Oh, my God. We, uh, yeah, and I, I think it's because of I'm so goddamn hairy. <laughs> all my hair <laughs> clogged up my, my shower drain, and I 
wasn't keeping up with uh, monthly maintenance by pouring liquid Drano down there, or liquid plumber rather, and uh, yeah, it just got clogged up and everything just started flooding. So good time, dude. Are you gonna have to? Is the damage so bad that you're gonna have to call your insurance company? Possibly. Now oh. the wood, uh, the wood in the down, the tile's fine in the bathroom, but the wood. In the area where I record is all like buckled up already. Oh, dude, that sucks. Oh, so, dude, I feel bad for you, dude. That sucks, man. It was it wasn't fun. It wasn't ideal. Yeah, uh, man. But you know, we, my dad and I, we kind of you know vacuumed all the water up, and uh, I'm actually out right now uh, dealing with the plumber and getting new. Um, Vacuum filters. Okay. Hey, so, uh, so we're not going to waste your time, uh, but we did want to get a little update of the aftermath um, of the uh, Tabasco up your uh, nose. We played the audio from the game night, but tell us a little bit about, um, you know, and also tell us about how you lost your wallet and found your wallet that same night. Uh, kind of like briefly oh give the listeners a rundown of what happened. Yeah. So, you know, snorting Tabasco, I thought, you know, I knew it wasn't going to be good, but I didn't know how bad. <laughs> bad it was going to be, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. um, I couldn't breathe out of that nostril for at least 24 hours. Oh, dude. I went, you guys saw what was, I was happening in the bathroom while I was like snorting yeah. water and trying yeah. to clear it out. It, and then um, I try to, like, I try to snort milk to like, you know, <laughs> neutralize. To, yeah. I asked the bartender for milk oh to try to God. neutralize the burn. Um, Did you then, snort the milk in front of the bartender? And yeah, he's like, well, I was what snorting the, fuck the milk. What's going was, on now? I mean, look, I, I was more like pouring it down my nostril because I really couldn't. Like, my, my, my sucking ability, ding, ding, was taken away because they were like, my nose was already like swollen at that point. Oh, my God. And, uh, and then so I finally like neutralized the burn. But now, you know, probably like an hour out, I was in the bathroom for an hour, like trying to take care of my nose. And I finally did. The, the the burn is neutralized, but now my nose is like sweating. I don't know. There's like there's like water dripping out of my nose, like for the rest of the night, right? Right. So there goes there goes my game, right? Like I can't talk to girls with water dripping out of my nose. So um, the next day I wake up and I have a wedding to go to, and like oh, when I got home that night, I went into the I took a hot steam shower. And I have some like saline solution in a can that's like a continual continual spray. Like you press the button down and it just sprays as much as long as you're holding it. So I did that like four or five times to try to flush my uh, my nasal cavity out, uh-huh. and that helped. That helped a little bit. I still couldn't breathe fully out of the right nostril, which I which I snorted the Tabasco with. And um, you know, I woke up the next morning and it was a little bit clear, but I could still feel something was wrong it, was, it felt like all blocked up and swollen but at the wedding which is now 5 p.m the next day my nose started dripping pus <laughs> oh. oh my god yeah dude yeah that is gnarly it was, it was not good wow it was, let me tell you let me tell you this if you're gonna snort tabasco up your nose for the next 24 to 36 hours, <laughs> it's going to be a bad time. That's a, that's a good tip. Muggs, uh, so tell the people <laughs> how you lost and found your wallet so quickly. And what the hell was up with that? So in, in the middle of my Tabasco fog, yeah, forget COVID fog. This is now Tabasco fog. <laughs> I'm like, I literally, we're all, I guess we're, we were doing listen to Roki, right? And uh-huh. I, like reach, I reach in my back pocket and I'm like, holy shit. I don't have my wallet. What the fuck? So, like, of course, a million scenarios start running through my head. Is it in my car? Did somebody pit pocket me while I was, like, you know, dying in the bathroom? Yeah, they're going to uh, pit pocket you if you look super wealthy. Like, who's going to pick at me? Look at Beer Bug and be like, yeah, I'm going to steal that dude's wallet. Are they, are they yeah, right? they give you flip flops. Those are Balenciaga flip flops. Yeah. You, you know, know what like, they're doing is that they're, they're giving you money, mugs. Like, don't flatter yeah. yourself, buddy. <laughs> okay, in the of uh, them giving me money, my wallet fell out. Okay, yeah, all right. The, right. But, uh, so I'm like going back and forth. I have now I have like a crew of uh, uh, a crew of old man Rubens, aka beer mug assistant. Yeah, like scouring the bar <laughs> for my wallet for me, right? Uh-huh. And they're like they're asking, they're going up to people, asking people, "Hey, have you seen a wallet?" Nothing, nothing. 
So then I start going like, oh, well, you know, I did go to the 7-Eleven before I got to the bar. Maybe it was a gas station as well. So maybe I dropped it out at the gas station. I had no idea. So I got like during that whole thing, I drive, I drive back to the gas station with one nostril, um, like panicking, like, God damn it. Like when you lose your wallet, then you're going to have to like, no, if you don't find it, you're going to have to. It's a huge hassle. Yeah. Or cancel every card you had in there. Go like the that DMV, one card. Another... <laughs> Please, Muggs, don't act like you have more than one credit card. You're not. <laughs> I cancel one card. Uh, one... Oh, so where'd you find it, dude? I'm like fuck. So I go home and I cancel everything. Okay. I cancel my credit cards. Out there, um, I'm already like trying to find out when the best time to go to the DMV is. And as I'm doing that. On my phone, I turn, and what do I fucking see on my dresser? <gasps> no way, really? It's on your dresser? Oh, whap, whap, whap. Wait, so it was never at the bar? It was never at the bar, and I remember I paid cash at the gas station. I had cash in my car. I wow. literally had a twenty. I had twenty dollars in my cup holder, and I didn't remember. Like, so I'm thinking I used. I took my wallet. Out. I never even left the house with my wallet. Jesus, dude, that's crazy. So, who was paying for the drinks? I, you know, you know, they they know me there. So he's you know, the man over there, for- Dave. He went to O'Grady's. O'Grady's. Yeah, man, that I'm, has to be our first there. spot where we do something, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Absolutely, I think so. Honestly, I don't care about the yeah. tobacco snorting. I don't care about losing your wallet. How did it end with the girl? Yeah. You know, it really kind of, the whole Tabasco thing kind of killed it, I think. <laughs> oh, she wasn't man. impressed by it? Yeah, she was like, whoa, that Tabasco yeah, snorting not, is very sexy. Not, <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> All right, Muggs. Well, hopefully. If he could snort tobacco, he could snort, you know, other fluids. You, yeah. keep, saying, you keep saying tobacco. It's Tabasco, Dave. <laughs> Thank you, Omar. Thank you. Please. I said Tabasco. No, I don't know you, what you're you, hearing. You keep saying tobacco. Yeah, you said tobacco. Twice, yeah, it's twice. Okay. It's all right. All right, Muggs, uh, uh, go tend to your flood, man. Thanks for hopping on, and hopefully you'll be around for the next episode of Janky Town. Love you guys. All right, dude. Love you too, man. I'll, I'll see you, sure you uh, maybe uh, on the next episode. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We'll see. All right. <laughs> Later. Uh-huh. Bye. But listen to all that shenanigans that that dude went through that night. That's why we keep him around for those stories, right, Dave? You're not going to get those stories from anybody else. That's a, That'll happen to me like maybe once Every five years. It happens to monks every fucking weekend. And now that it's opening up. You know what? Oh, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Put him on your dad fucking podcast. <laughs> He's a dad. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's, get, let's uh, finish up these calls here. We have three more to go. Again, the number is uh, Janky69. Nope. It's uh, 855-Janky69. That's the number. All right. Let's see uh, what's next here. Bear Mug, if you smoke so much weed, why are you still so on edge all the time? You're like the most aggressive pothead I know. That is very true. Well, it's because, have you ever heard of, uh, uh, what's it called, angel dust? I put that on my weed so it could <laughs> mellow me out. Okay. So, whoa! <laughs> no, no, no. Outrageous. Angel dust doesn't uh, mellow you up, Muggs, okay? Uh, I wouldn't. I would stop doing that if what? I were you. Yeah. <laughs> no. This is Esteban and my daughter, Katarina, and we're at the least jankiest place on Earth. Disneyland! Too dead, you're not here, Dave. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. But you've already been twice this year since it's opened. Yep. God damn, yep, dude. Yeah, but just went back and uh, yeah, this past weekend and it was uh, it was fun. Let me and it you. was before it was all crowded and stuff like that. And oof. yeah, do you think it's gonna be just as crowded this summer, or do you think a lot of people are just gonna not go this summer and reschedule for next summer, or, or is Disneyland just people a place where people uh, are gonna go no matter what? My brother's there today and sent me some pictures, and it is wall-to-wall people. Wow. And no mask, right? No mask. It mask is, is gone. No mask. Wow. All pat. All, wow. It's crazy. It's, it's Disneyland is back, which is good because now I won't go for another couple of months, and I'm hoping that they make all their money back so we can get these damn annual passes back because I can't deal with this fucking reservation system. I can't deal with, with not being able to... Just go whenever I want. I don't like it. (laughs) Hey, dudes. Andy from Kansas. Um, I'm watching the movie Ford versus Ferrari, and I'm trying to figure out why Christian Bale, who's a British fuck, 
is playing a British fuck in a movie and he has a terrible British accent. He sounds like an American dude trying to play a British fuck and I don't get it because he's already British. Explain it, Beer Mug. Ah, oh, Beer Mug's not here to explain it. Oh, wait, well, yes, he is. Beer Mug, explain why Christian Bell, that fuck, has a British a- accent. Well, because he's Batman, you know, and then he <laughs> killed the dude, and now he's back to Batman. <laughs> And he must have forgot how to talk. <laughs> well Hot explained. Dog. Well explained, man. Well explained. <laughs> well, that is uh, the round of the uh, jank line. Again, the number is 855-Janky69. Please call with your stories, any insight, questions, comments, concerns. Uh, we love hearing from you. And uh, F you, Rachel, because we're not even close to being <laughs> caught up now, man. So uh, I think we're going to have to do some <laughs> bonus episodes with, uh, with us just catching up on the jank line. But uh, yeah, the email address is always uh, JankyTown. 69 at gmail.com if you want to email us anything and yeah hit us up about the Patreon if you think it's a good uh, idea or if it's uh, just dumb or terrible whatever idea. yeah it's a terrible idea but uh, uh, I think that's all it I really want to know is yeah. if people are out if we do Patreon I don't want to I don't want to fuck with their day ones you no know what be, I mean? no like, because we would we would keep the free one we would just we, we, we would keep the free one but it would contain manscape ads or whatever ads still you know I would I wouldn't yeah, take yeah, I wouldn't yeah. take that away the patreon would be on top of everything else you know and, but the patreon oh, okay. episode exactly the patreon episode would be commercial less and the patreon people would get bonus video uh, content and also uh, like a Zoom meetup once a month or so. Uh, we haven't really talked about it, <laughs> you know. Party so. at Omar's house, pool party at Omar's yeah, house. Yeah, you, know, you know, that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, let us know what you think if you guys are kind of down <laughs> for that. And I, I think it's like three bucks a month, I think, is, is what the deal is. But, yeah, I haven't even done uh, the slightest bit of research on that. So it, it might never come to fruition. We'll see. We'll see. But um, <laughs> that's it, right, Dave? Oof, Do you have well, anything else going on? Yeah, we got we got through a tough one, man. Like I don't <sighs> know if you could see or notice from the camera, but I am so You are sweating, dude. Yeah, turn on your AC, <laughs> I am so you cheap sweaty. bastard. Dude, I'm outside. I have the fan on. I have the window open. I'm oh, in the really? back room. Oh my god. It's not uh, insulated, so it All is right. uh, hot. <laughs> All right, dude. It well, is hot. Thanks for sweating it out with us. We'll see you next time. Sweating to the oldies.